It's a vanity mirror. I'm putting on makeup. I'm a woman who's putting on makeup. And as a black woman, I'm putting on blackface because that's the way I'm, I'm feeling, I'm seen. The world sees me as a black woman. And yet at the end, with all that blackness covering who I am, and with all that application, all that endeavor, you know, of which women have to go through to cover who they are, I somehow look up into that light and there's a kind of tentative smile. And the light in some ways indicates the possibility of something that isn't bad. It is light, as a matter of fact. And it's possible that this could be interpreted as knowledge, self-knowledge, something that could be enlightening and strength-giving. Thinking is like almost like a flash. Ah, that makes the point. And then you, you know, kind of flesh it out. And that's how this happened. I was trying to make the point. I didn't really think about being ostracized or appreciated. I was just making a point. And because of the position I was in at that point in my life, um, I really didn't have a studio. So that was my art. And it was easier to do video and, and performance and possibly even photography than it was um, to make big sculptures. That was strictly the photographer. He had a, a rolling um, tripod and he just rolled it around and he was uh, uncertain because the floor was uneven and it is jumpy. You know, it is very crude, actually, but it works. And one of the reasons it really works is the last shot when I look up and this light happens. And that was David, my former student, that was his inspiration. He said, let's, let's try this, you know. And so it was kind of improvised. The whole thing was very improvised because I had only rented this space for a few hours. And actually, at one point, somebody came in and said, what are you doing in here? What are you doing? Because, you know, for somebody to look at it, there I was in blackface, and, you know, it could have been, like, a very negative thing, which I think he thought it was. You know, like, why are you, what? what? <laughs> you know, like being a minstrel, mm -hmm. um, which is actually what I was trying to reference. Um, but for a good reason, or yeah, for a reason for you to think about it. I think it's really a piece about identity and uh, what everybody goes through with our, their identity. There are many problems with identity and many, many people don't want theirs. <laughs> and the thing is, you know, you're kind of stuck with who you are, so you might as well make the best of it. That's the only thing you can do. <laughs> now, you could read it on, you could read the video on one level of saying, oh, look, she's, you know, putting blackface on and she's criticizing being, um, uh, uh, you know, she's a victim of racism and she's criticizing that. But I'm also saying something else. I'm saying you can overcome this. Whatever you are, whoever you are, whatever you suffer, it's possible. It's possible with all you are and all your identity to make it and to, to make it in your way. Mm -hmm.